How's it going guys, Buttersbridge here and welcome to another episode of my Bronze to Riches series. Um, good news, I finally trickled over the 360k mark, um, which is actually, I've just staggered actually thinking back, I actually started with 10k at the very beginning of this series, <coughs> and I'm now, what, 350k richer off. It's absolutely brilliant, just from opening bronze packs. Um, but anyway, we'll see what we've actually sold, player-wise, from the last episode. And... We had Miller went 500 coins, uh, Boetius went for 500 coins, Bristly 500, that guy for 500, he got 500, that was a bit of a shame, Sikorsky, you know, for 250, but just goes to show how I list them, normally at 150 start price and I just take whatever they go for. Uh, Usula went for 500, he went for 500, and the Motherwell guy went for 500 as well so that's where we are everything's been sold um as it's been a weekend it's been pretty good everything's gone dead fast so i'm going to be opening a another load of bronze packs so as always we're going into the store we're looking for 750 coin packs and here is pack number one and we have got i didn't even see the name then he looks like he's rare vasquez didn't even see his name pop up then it was a bit fast uh, and I've just gone up level. <laughs> level 4. I'll soon have an extended trade pile. That's what I really want. Uh, but Vasquez, I'll send him to the club uh, to sell later on. And we've got a few contracts. So, not a bad start. And an actual duplicate kit, considering I only have one of everything. Of, like, the what, the minimum. Um, that's a bit of a surprise. I've found that one again. Anyway, next pack. Oku. I don't even know what that said. Okungongi or something like that. Okunga, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but he's 71 pace centre back. Uh, and I think that's a, is it a League 1? Yeah, Colchester. He might be worth a bit, 4 1 2 1 2. Um, that guy might be worth a bit. Uh, Polish bronzes. Some guys asked me to save a couple of the manager contracts from the last episode, so I'm going to save a couple, that's it, and just see if they sell. Uh, if they do, I will keep them in future. I don't really want to save too many items though, because I'm actually making profits from. The ones which I am selling. I don't, I don't mind trying them though, just to see. So I'll save them too for the next time and see how they sell. Sutherland is the next guy. Again, he's a rare. It's quite a good start. And he's 80 pace and he's a Blackpool player. Not bad. He might be worth 500 coins as well. Uh, not bothered about the coach. But these contracts I am interested in to add to the collection. Uh, especially as I say, they've been selling really well uh, over this weekend. Next pack, 750 coins. And we've got Person, was that? Or Prison? It was Person. He's a goalkeeper. He'll be going up at probably 500 bin. Goalkeepers don't tend to sell for that much, but I always uh, save all my rare ones and test them out. If this is the first episode you're watching, uh, there is a little be a, there will be a guide in the description. Uh, click on that and it's a YouTube video. It just tells you like what rough prices I do sell things for and how the actual method works. But here is the next pack. And I missed that name again. <laughs> and it's another goalkeeper, Berthelin. Again, I say, most players are just put up at 150 coins start price and 500 bin as you looked at the very beginning of this episode. Um, some I'll put up higher. I'll check out the price on the uh, databases or one of the websites where you find the average prices uh, and try and list likewise. Anyway, the next pack, we have got Goria. Was that? And he's a striker. Doesn't look particularly good, but 80 heading. I think that's said. That's not too bad. He might be worth a bit for people having heading teams. And our first player fitness. A few more of them will be brilliant. They're the things at the moment which are just instantly being bought, really. Um, up at like 58 minutes. I think they've been something for today. Um, they've been going for 300 coins bin instantly. Anyways, the next pack. And it's Xavier. <laughs> Anunziata, is that? I don't know, probably wrong, but you never. I'm not really that bothered. I've saved him anyway, I'll be 500 coins again. Another player fitness, though, as, I'm, as I was just saying, they're the things which I do like to see. Those and the squad fitnesses are the main consumables you want to hit. But to be honest, any consumables which sell any of the contracts, really, um, you'll make your coins. Malik is the next guy, and I think this is the. I think, is that the first pack I've had with no rare player? Um. It's not been doing too bad this time. And we've got another player fitness. Absolutely brilliant. Keep them coming. If I get one a pack, I'll be very, very happy. 
and throw in some decent players and decent uh, other com squad fitnesses and I'll be really really happy Bishop is next not to bash this guy but I'm not saving him because he looks crap and we've got a couple more contracts and then that's actually about it from that pack pretty poor pack um, by mo by the standards that I'm expecting anyway we we'll open more and they always average out and that's how we make our profit normally Stevens is that the Charlton guy nope it's a different guy it is a centre back who might be worth a bit and we've got Ollie he might be worth a bit 81 pace English striker and a few more contracts and another player fitness this is lovely keep these up and uh, we'll be pushing up in towards the 360 mark towards like the 365 mark hopefully throw in like I say a decent player and we could be even higher Giuseppe are you that decent player you possibly could be well not Giuseppe but McGlashan I'm sure I've had him before 433 85 pace could be worth a K or so uh, be interesting to see his price later on and get him up on the market for a day um, hopefully we might get a, a bit of profit from that guy that's not a bad pack let's see if we can continue it now with the next pack Lee Young J was that don't think he's rare though so I'm not that interested in him um, not that interested in that guy well, what was the coaches in this one um, well and just one just one contract that's where we make a loss there nearly a 450 coin loss just from that one pack um, possibly more depends on what that contract went for Vert Iggy was that another goalkeeper Vertrick I don't know where I got Iggy from I thought it was a, a GH at the end um, we'll keep him anyway and a few more contracts so this is where you say you make your money back with four contracts there and a player that should sell for hopefully around like a K for everything combined maybe a little bit more and uh, that makes up the average for the last pack just in case you was wondering anyway next pack and we've got Jones quite a generic name so is this guy gonna be a good one he possibly could be left mid in 4 and 2 on 2 Mike Jones <laughs> otherwise known as Moises God <laughs> there you go a little shout out for you and more importantly this is a beautiful pack because we've got not only a player fitness but a squad fitness which I've actually been selling at like 2k instantly as well I might even try and sell this one a little bit higher I might list it at like 2.5k bin and maybe like 1.8k start price to see if he'll sell anyway Next pack, we have got Wallace. He looks like he's a rare. And he's another English bronze. Quite a lot of English bronze is coming out. Has he got any skills? Three star skills. Shame about his pace, but he's quite good all around stats. Might be worth 500 coins. A um, few more contracts, and I think that's our first attributes card. Um, what you say? They sell for 200 coins. Normally pretty easy. I've listed them over the weekend, though, a couple of times, but they do sell in the end. Uh, as I say, this method does take time you've got to list and list and list and list and list before things finally do sell sometimes um, it's not like if they don't sell the first time I don't just discard them just keep relisting and relisting them every hour until they go they will eventually all go if you follow that method it's got to have some good patience to uh, make profit from this uh, method anyway probably space for one more pack as I've been rambling on I've not even noticed how many I've opened so this is going to be the last pack and we have got wholeness Holness, is he any good? Oh, it's a bit of a shame. He's another English bronze. Centre back, decent defensive stats, but only 45 pace. That might let him down. And we have got one contract. But, ah, oh, go on. I always do it. We'll open one more. <laughs> There's still space for like three more there. I normally try and take it up to 50, so. We'll do one more. This is going to be the last one, though. <laughs> king. Is this the king? Is this the guy I'm after? Um, Borden looks quite decent, though. Um, maybe 500 coins from him. And King, you never know. Don't think he's got the sk oh, three star skills. Shame about the formation, but uh, an American guy. And we have got a contract and a rare silver, which hopefully will sell for like 350 coins if we're lucky. So there we go. That's the pack opening finished on 49 consumables. So we're about done. Somebody did ask me in the last video, so I say I just try and fill up to 50 consumables, and that's how I run my episodes. Don't actually have a number, a set number of packs that I open. I just open a random amount. It's just for a bit of fun and just show you how to make coins off this. Anyway, we'll have a look and see what we've pulled. Player-wise, uh, this centre-back possibly could be worth a couple of K. 
He's high pace and he's a uh, decent defensive stats. He's four and two on two. Um, Jones four and two on two again. Pretty decent player. Um, I was going to say, is that got, guy got skills? He's seventy one driven, but no. Um, Giuseppe three star skills. He might be worth a bit. McGlashan's in a perfect formation, so he might be worth a bit as well. Uh, Holness possibly Sutherland decent formation again. Uh, King and Bowden are probably the other best ones. And Ollie, you never know. He's low rated, but 81 pace. People sometimes will have that just for a bench player. So that's all the players. Hopefully, we'll make a couple of K off them. Um, obviously, the more that we sell of them, the more profit we're going to make as well. Um, as far as the trade pal, don't think I put anything in again. That's the second week running. I've not put one item in the trade pal. Strange. Um, but what else do we want to look at? That's it, the consumables. We always finish with the consumables and we'll see what we've got in there. I know we've got a squad fitness which is absolutely lovely. A couple of uh, morale, well, a morale, a healing and then all attributes there. Squad fitness should be like say 2k hopefully. A little bit more if I'm a bit greedy and try to list them a little bit higher. Um, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of those. That's like 2.1k again. And we have got some manager contracts. These two I'm going to test out just because the guy said that they've been selling. Uh, don't know if he's on about Xbox or PlayStation. He never actually mentioned that, but I'll try him anyway. Uh, a rare silver contract, which is a, quite a, a rarity on one of these episodes. Loads of rare contracts. And as always, the non-rare contracts. So there you go, guys. That has been the na latest episode. Um, yeah, a few of those players sell. We should be up towards a 365k mark, hopefully. A little bit higher, possibly. If some of those players are worth a bit more than I'm anticipating. Um, but yeah, we're doing well anyway. We're t uh, after a couple of really poor episodes. I think we're starting to get back into the swing and yeah, starting to average out a bit of pat luck and hopefully say we'll be pushing on. Um, please like and subscribe to the video. I think I did actually not mention that in my last video, <laughs> which is a strange one. But yeah, please like and subscribe if you do like it. By the way, like, don't just like it for liking its sake. But if you do like it, please like it. I do appreciate it, and uh, please comment as well below. Uh, do try to look at all your comments when I get time, uh, time and chance to do that. Uh, but until next time, guys, I have been Buttersbridge, and I shall catch you guys later.